area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. To the people, yeah, we back to do maintenance. Yeah, yeah, we gonna rock like crack when it came in. You know this work is as hard as a Latin invasion for black entertainers. Hello! I'm glad to see you made it. It's just too sad he won't make it. Salute to the subscribers at notification gang rights gang clothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to my guy. Showtime SP and everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. So hollow the dime. You know that people been asking you to battle Rum Nitty for almost two years now. And he makes a statement, he says the things that he says. Yeah, I'm sitting back Cadillac and you know I'm talking about, right? And I'm thinking, if you got a nigga you finna go to war with, right? You gonna call this nigga out. And he's certified true to like, ain't you gonna have like some clips ready or strategy ready to like take this person out, right? So, um, you know, they hit my phone. They said, yo, three weeks. Rum rum, little rum rum. I said, whatever. I'm on some shit now. Like, like y'all could fly DNA out this weekend for Ultimate Madness 3. I smoke them this weekend. Three rounds on my mama. So, they they said a the little, because he been saying my name, but besides that little rum rum, right? I said, whatever. Y'all said the price already, Whatever. These niggas like. He said no. He said I'm not ready. He says that he was ready to take Rum Nitty in three weeks. He says that he's ready to take DNA tomorrow. Holla, where's all this energy coming from, huh? Do you got something on Rum Nitty that you need to get out? Do you got an angle? Do you have like, like I, I don't normally see people jump into fights that people have been talking about. For quite a while, unless they got something on them. Do you have something on them? Now, I will say this. I do respect the fact that Hollow is saying that he wants the battle, that he's coming outside, and that he's making a statement. But Rum Nitty's in the middle of a tournament right now. Rum Nitty has drugs, and then he could potentially be battling against Cortez, and he could be battling for $100,000. Like, that's a lot going on. Now, I know there's some people who battle every week. During this whole tournament run, you see Geechee Gotti, uh, he's on pace to have a battle every week for the last seven weeks. But to me, it doesn't even seem like that's something that Rum Nitty does. We don't know Rum Nitty for battling that much. Geechee Gotti battled so much that he had a battle no show and he jumped in a battle and was still able to get bars off. Geechee Gotti is just an amb ambassador to the culture, that's what he does. So he always wants to rhyme, he always wants to put on, and it seems like he's got an infinite bag of rhymes where he could just go line for line for line for line. And it looks like he's having a lot of fun. So I mean, he's gonna be ready, um, and that's what he does. He makes battle rappers emotional, people getting their feelings and things like that. But you know, we just cover what we cover. So now, Rum Nitty, like I said, he had a battle versus Sirius Jones. A battle where a lot of people felt Sirius Jones got that one. And if it wasn't for people bringing out the fact that Jones had used a line or like recycled or said some shit that he said in another battle off the phone, people would have probably been on Rum Nitty's heels for it. And now he's got a battle coming up in a couple days versus Drugs, who did very well versus Yoshi. And then he just had a battle with Ryder too. So somebody that's going to be trying to bring their A-game to you. And I'm not going to lie. When you look at what's left on that side of the bracket for Rum Nitty, he's the he's the most talented MC. Cortez is nice, not taking nothing away from him. Jack Boy's nice, not taking nothing away from him. But when we look at star power, the ability to punch, the ability to scheme, the ability to bring all of these fire lines, like Rum Nitty's that guy. We're not gonna act like Rum Nitty's not that guy. And for him to even consider taking a hollow to Don. So if Hollow saying that. Rum Nitty said he don't want it. He, that's, that's what he said in the video. He said he doesn't want it or he's backing away from it right now. I'm saying that yes, it should happen, but it should happen on a time frame where $100,000 100, ain't on the line. Because like I said, you got the guys who could battle every week. Geechee got his one. DNA's another who could battle all the time. 
But then you got to, with, with what Rum Nitty does, that's not a battle every week style. Because when even when he tries to stretch his pen like that and take multiple battles, he be punching still, but he don't be punching, punching. I've seen him do that to where he literally had a battle with the Saga and battle with his gloves on, his coat and gloves. Like literally, he didn't even take his gloves off. He went in there, left the car running, spit a bunch of punchlines and left. But we don't want that. I don't want that from Rum Nitty. If, if, if I'm getting something, I want the top quality product. And the top quality product is one that you're gonna get when you know that he don't have another battle two days from now. He don't, or he's not having to worry about battling all of these folks. And, and we're not gonna act like Hollow versus Nitty. It's not a battle that hasn't been spoken about, hasn't been blogged about, hasn't been talked about for the latter part of the last two years. So if it's something that they're gonna do, they could get it done. But at the same time, I see where Hollow's going. I respect Hollow, lomclothing.com, all of that, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like, and I feel like in this circumstance, Rum Nitty's got a lot going on. And if he takes a battle outside of the hundred thousand dollar run and loses or doesn't have his best shit because the shit versus serious i'm gonna be honest with you it was cool but i've seen i've heard i've been around better from him than that not saying he can't level it up not saying that he's not gonna have no more potent fire shit but i'm just saying that type of performance was suffice it got him past serious but it's not gonna seriously get him past. Ooh. It got him past serious. But it's not gonna seriously get him past everyone else. You know what I'm saying? Like, I told y'all what I said the other week. I ended the cartoon. It's like I clapped my plug. Y'all thought I was serious. Then I relapsed, got the smack call. Now I'm back on drugs. Like, drum nigga, that's the type of shit. We need you to ele. If I'm thinking you need to be on that type of time, like you got the smack call, now you're back. That was fine. But um, Rum Hollow, we do as fans. We do respect the fact that you're willing to come outside. We respect the fact that you are calling out Rum Nitty. But you have to realize that when 100 bands is on the line, that battling every week, because you're saying that you can take him in three weeks. Three weeks sounds like around gnome time. That's the only card they would probably be on. If he's battling for 100 grand on them, he's not gonna battle you too. I know Gichi Gotti said he would battle twice on the card, but like I said, Rum Nitty is not that kind of MC to me. And there's other MCs who don't battle often. Um, Goods was another one that was very um, vocal about the point that he don't take somebody within 30 days or like a month. Like he needs his time to write. You know what I'm saying? Like he needs his time to be able to prepare his way. He's not a um, cookie cutter MC that just goes up there and just battles week for week for week for week like that. And there's no knock on anybody who does that to each their own. Cause I know in this battle rap game, the truth sounds like hate to niggas who hate the truth. So when you state your opinion about some, you know, niggas would be like, oh, this person's hating on me, woo de woo, oh, F that, woo 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 woo. Come on fam, like it ain't even, we ain't doing all that. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna keep it consistent, but we have to speak about the relevant topics because that's what people want to know about. Like you can't change that. So when it comes to um, battling often, there's nothing wrong with it as long as you're delivering top quality product. But when you have MCs that start using the same material in battle after battle after battle or not showing up to battles and things like that, you can't be mad that people's talking about it because it's a relevant topic. Now, Hollow, we haven't seen you in a little minute. So we would like to see you. Uh, I know there was people out there that was talking about maybe a, a battle with you versus a daylight and then there were other people talking about you and other joints um, You know, you was doping the two-on-two -two, uh, And it's time. It is definitely time. It's time to see you You know what I'm saying? But Rum Nitty is a battle that Probably as long if he's in this tournament and he continues to go then I don't think so but if he somehow somehow loses it would pro i think with what's left in the tournament besides agichi Gotti, if rum nitty loses it will probably be an upset it would be considered an upset with whatever's left if he did not win 
if a Geechee Gotti or a Rum Nitty did not win, and Cortez is right there because he's very solid. And I know a lot of people are, if you know, like, it's so many variables. Like, when you pick these things and you, and you speak about the different battles, all it takes is for somebody to have a better six minutes than someone else. That's all it takes. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of, well, you know, 36, 230s or whatever. Eight, six to eight. Ten minutes could change someone's life. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I will say this. is uh, Hollow versus Nitty is a battle I definitely want to see. Um, you guys jump in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Hollow's calling him out, saying that he's basically ducking. But I definitely have to look at things from all from, from that perspective. Like, yo, the man does have a whole 100-band tournament up. And a lot of people is probably never going to see 100,000, especially at one time from Battle Rap. Most will never see 100,000 collectively over the course of their whole career. So if you got a chance to make that kind of money at one time and all you have to do is win one, two, three more battles, yeah, you got to go ahead and get that. You got to go get that thing. Other than that, man, salute to the subscribers that notification game. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you respect the handle. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. I'm sitting back Cadillac and I'm talking about, right? And I'm thinking, if you got a nigga you finna go to war with, right? You gonna call this nigga out. And he's certified shooter, like, ain't you gonna have, like, some clips ready or a strategy ready to, like, take this person out, right? So, um, you know, they hit my phone. They said, yo, three weeks. Rum rum, little rum rum. I said, Whatever. I'm on some shit now. Like, like y'all could fly DNA out this weekend for Ultimate Madness 3. I smoke them this weekend. Three rounds on my mama. So, they they say the little, because he been saying my name, but besides that little rum rum, right? I said, whatever. Y'all said the price already, whatever. These niggas like, he said no! He said I'm not ready.